Hello everyone and welcome back to the Radiant Farming Channel. We are all familiar with sugar, the most common sweetener in our daily lives. But have you ever wondered how sugar is produced? Sugar is made from sugarcane, a raw material packed with sucrose. Each year, the world consumes about 16 million tons of sugar, and producing this enormous amount involves a complex process, from growing and harvesting sugarcane to production at the factory. Globally, we produce about 1.9 billion tons of sugarcane annually. Brazil leads the way with approximately 750 million tons, accounting for 40% of global production. Interestingly, over 60% of this output is used to produce ethanol, an eco-friendly fuel for the transportation industry. Following Brazil is India with 410 million tons per year, then Thailand, China, and Pakistan. In the United States in 2023, farmers grew around 400,000 hectares of sugarcane, producing tens of millions of tons, contributing significantly to the economy and bringing many sweet sugar products to daily life. Despite natural challenges such as droughts and floods, thanks to perseverance and advanced agricultural technology, U.S. farmers can still achieve impressive sugarcane harvests. Today, we will explore the vast sugarcane fields in Louisiana and Florida, following farmers from planting and caring to harvesting. We will see the modern technologies that help improve efficiency and better understand the sugar production process in the factories. Sugarcane is a crop that thrives in warm climates, making states like Louisiana, Florida, and Texas ideal places for sugarcane farming. Each spring, farmers begin planting sugarcane by cutting the stalks into segments about 12 to 18 inches long, with each piece containing three to four buds. To select the best varieties, scientists conduct thorough research, performing DNA and chemical experiments in the lab to identify the superior traits of each variety. After each harvest season, the soil needs to be treated to ensure proper drainage and promote strong root growth. Farmers use modern machinery to till dozens of hectares of land daily, breaking up hard clods and creating conditions conducive to sugarcane root development. Sugarcane fields are typically planted in straight rows, making it easier to care for and harvest using machinery. Once the furrows are ready, automatic planters plant the sugarcane segments into the soil, which is then covered to protect and retain moisture. This process helps the sugarcane sprout quickly and grow healthily. During the care process, sugarcane needs regular watering, weeding, and fertilizing. Modern farms often use a combination of sprinkler systems, flood irrigation, and drip irrigation, which not only conserves water, but also delivers moisture directly to the roots, allowing the sugarcane to absorb water quickly and efficiently. Sugarcane matures through the process of photosynthesis, where the leaves produce sugar, which is stored as sweet juice in the stalks. When it's time for harvest, modern machinery makes the process quicker and more efficient. Harvesters cut and chop the sugarcane into short pieces about 20 centimeters long, separating the leaves in bagasse, and then transport the stalks to the processing plant.
One of the major challenges of sugarcane farming is the potential devastation caused by hurricanes. Therefore, farmers must speed up the harvest process when a storm is approaching. Each sugar factory can process about 3 million tons of sugarcane per year, and every day trucks full of sugarcane arrive at the factory to begin the production process. At the factory, the sugarcane is unloaded onto conveyors to start the juice extraction process. Crushing. The stalks are fed through large rollers to crush them, and water is pumped in to extract the maximum amount of sugar. About 70% of the sugarcane's weight turns into juice, while the remaining bagasse is used as fuel for the factory's boilers. Purification. The juice is treated with lime and heated to remove impurities, eliminating enzymes and microorganisms, resulting in a clear liquid ready for concentration. Evaporation. The juice is boiled in evaporators to remove excess water, turning it into a thick syrup. This step concentrates the sugar content to around 60%. Crystallization. The syrup is transferred into vacuum pans. Here, small sugar crystals are added to initiate crystallization, allowing sucrose to adhere to them, forming sugar crystals. However, these sugar crystals remain mixed with molasses, which gives brown sugar and molasses their color. The crystals are separated from the molasses through centrifugation. Spinning at 1,200 revolutions per minute, the centrifuge works like a giant washing machine, filtering the liquid through small holes in the container, leaving behind the large sugar crystals. Drying and refining, the raw sugar is dried and then packaged for direct sale or sent to refineries for further refining into white sugar. Each ton of sugarcane produces about 100 kilograms of raw sugar, along with valuable byproducts like molasses and bagasse. is pumped into large tanks with a capacity of 11.4 million liters for use in livestock feed. They produce sugar for every need, from industrial to household consumption, and even supply restaurants. They package sugar into small packets for hotels and restaurants. This sophisticated equipment can pack 2,500 small packets per minute without spilling a grain of sugar. When packed into boxes, the sugar packets are vigorously shaken to rearrange them. Finally, a robotic arm stacks the sugar into pallets of 56 boxes. This automatic machine seals the pallets with cellophane, ready to be shipped worldwide. Nutritionally, sugar provides quick energy with four calories per gram, but sugar consumption should be monitored to avoid health risks. The 
global per capita sugar consumption is 23 kilograms per year, with higher rates in developed countries. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel to stay tuned for more interesting videos on agriculture and production. Goodbye and see you in the next videos.